You know where you're at, you're at Chapel Hill. This is UNC, University of Nothing But Caucasians Walking Across the Yard. That's, that's where you're at, that's where you're at. Yeah, that's where you're at. I know about Chapel Hill. Or, or if you prefer, University where not that many colored folk attend, except basketball and football season. And that's where we know what's going on. Got one more announcement here. If you are driving a 1978 brown two-tone gremlin with chrome rims and a rag top, and you got a personalized tag on the back that says, number one pimp. We don't want you to move your shit. We just want you to stand up so we can see what the hell made you drive that hill. Old raggedy player coming up in here. Old raggedy player. Y'all heard me mess with the Caucasians when I came out here? A lot of comedians come on stage talk about the Caucasians. I don't mess with them. They all right. Let me tell you what happened to me. Black people, when you think you're getting ready to die, you can do shit you never thought you could do. Last month, I'm in Bristol, Tennessee, telling jokes at the Bristol, Tennessee Amphitheater. I'm at the 43rd annual KKK Covered Dish Dinner Blood Drive and Dog Show. Now, I'm on the main stage right beside the German Shepherds, and I'm telling my jokes, and I see about 30 to 40 sheets over here mumbling with my peripheral. He gonna stand up just going, yeah, hey, now look, now you know you're a funny nigger. That's when you know you're in trouble, black people. Nigger, your ass better get up out of there real quick. You a funny nigger, but now we don't wanna hear no more jokes. We want you to sing some country music. I said, shit. You ain't getting no country, I got on gators. You might get your little R&B, might get a little gospel, a little Kurt Franklin, a little hip-hop, a little jigger, but I don't do no country. He said, now look, you're going to do some country. He said, now not only are you going to do some country, but we want you to sing Randy Travis Folgers Coffee Commercial. Boy, I said, I don't give a damn what you want me to sing. I ain't singing shit. Then I heard that sound to make the average young black man recognize and understand somebody out here ain't bullshitting. <laughs> See, I stepped back, I looked in the audience, I opened my mouth, closed my eyes. Next thing I knew, I was like, another morning on the road, and I'm just waking up. Nothing goes better than Folgers in the yard car. The best part of waking up is Folgers in your car. Let me hear you say hooty hoo! Caucasians, you should officially be welcomed out to the Kings of Comedy. Sit back, enjoy yourself, and don't say shit because you knew this was black night out you knew when this shit was supposed to start at 8 and I came out here 8 15 it was black night out and I don't give a damn if you put us in the Dean Dome we not gonna get there on time a couple of more Hennessy's we gonna make this roof come up off of here too shit it will be leaking your ass gonna be leaking next year uh, black people start tearing some shit up and look all these black people here look like I'm a star too Open casting call. Before I go, I gotta let you know how everybody losing their mind in the record scene. Everybody's singing. Singing ain't meant for everybody. How many of y'all saw the Soul Train Music Awards last week? Y'all seen Kelly Price? Kelly come and got her award for all the big and sultry women. Kelly, you ain't big and sultry, you just big. Kelly knew she was wrong, came out in a teal leather one-piece jumpsuit looking like a two-piece living room sectional for rooms to go with the sleeper in the middle. I kept watching Kelly Price. I was getting sleepy as hell out. Her big ass. Then she got the nerve to have some choreography. Y'all seen the little skip? I can't hide. I say one more jump and your ankle's gonna pop right there. 
Your legs can't take all that pressure, Kelly. Sit your big ass in that chair. That chair wasn't no prop. Damn it, that was where she rested at. Then all the other performers after the parties thinking all the designers, Versace, Armani, Kana, Dada for hooking up their outfits. Here go Kelly Price. Talk about thank you designers, Kelly. She talking about, I like to send love down to the Milwaukee, Wisconsin cattle ranch and cow retreat. I know I needed nine cows and they only had six, but I did what I could do. I ain't got love for y'all. Mm. Y'all enjoy the rest of the show or the kings of comedy. One love, I'm Tonex. <laughs>